Hey y'all, more geometry today. Let's go uh, and do something old first before we do something slightly new. So let's go find the surface area of this cylinder. All right, let's just say the, I don't know, let's call it uh, 10 or something. You know what? Yeah, 10 is good enough. Okay, let's say this thing is 20 units high. All right, find the surface area. Okay, you should know at this point because you've been doing these in your book over and over and over again. If you're getting half of them wrong, it's okay. Just try to do better next time. Um, but the, the area of this entire thing, well, we know the area of a circle is pi times the radius squared. So the radius squared would be 100 pi. That's going to be for the top. Of course, it, it's also for the bottom as well, right? The base is the same on the bottom. The only question is, what is the lateral surface area on the side? Like the soup can label, or whatever you want to call it. We know it's 20 high. We know that the circumference is 10, uh, excuse me, is uh, pi times the diameter. The diameter will be 20. So pi times the diameter is just 20 times pi, right? So 20 times 20 is 400. And then add the pi at the end. So 400 pi plus 100 pi plus 100 pi, the answer is 600 pi. And at the very end, if you actually need to know the numbers, you can multiply this by 3.14 and get something pretty close. Okay. All right. Knowing that, we're going to go to something a little bit different today, but mostly the same. They'll say, find the surface area of the right triangular solid. Okay. Well, you're going to need to find all of the sides of this monstrosity. Let's say it's just like a big hunk of gluten-free cheese that all homeschoolers eat. All right. By the way, it's pretty tall here because it's four feet by three feet, but it's a big chunk. Okay, Costco. Okay. All right, well, let's find the surface area. This part we know is gonna be four times three, it's a triangle, 12, but half of that, that'll be six, right? But don't forget, on the other side of this thing, if you were to look through this, okay, you'd see another triangle. So that's gonna be six over here and then six over here. Now let's find the front of this thing that we can see the lighter part. That's going to be 5 times 16. That'll be 80. We also need to do the, like the back part of this, back behind there that we can't see. But we know it's 4 units tall and it's 16 across, so that'll be 64. And don't forget the bottom as well. That's going to be 3 by 16 and that'll be 48. So that's how you find the right triangular solid. Okay, I'm not going to bother with the total of that. Okay, lateral surface area of something like this. Okay, right solid, 10 feet tall. Let's just go ahead and Put this there. That's the base. Okay, the lateral surface area. Now this is not easy, but it's not. Oh, it's not. It's not impossible. It does take a little time, and all you need to do is just know know your know your circumference stuff. That's it. Okay. So the lateral surface area means this. You know, part around here, all the way around to the other side, and including this part right here. Okay. So let's look. We're going to need to find. Um, basically how much this is. Okay, so we know from here to here, if we know from here to there, we'll, we'll be able to get this part right there. So we can swing this little three around and that gives us a three right here, right? And that gives us also a three right there. Okay, so that tells us right away that this, in other words, we're looking, this is a bird's, bird's eye view right here. Okay, so this is going to be six, right? Since it swings from here to here. So in other words, this side here is six, which means it's the same thing as there. Okay. That part's going to be 60. I'll just plop it over there. Okay. The thing is here, we're going to have to figure out you know, from here now to here. Well, we know that's still 10 high, right? That's going to be 8 times 10 from like, you know, let's just say it ends right there where the circle kind of begins there, the semicircle. And then the same thing happens over here on the other side. We can just draw it like there, you know. So that's going to be 8 times 10, 80. This will be 8 times 10, 80. And then there you go. Now all we need to do is find out from here to there. So the question is, what's the distance from here to here? All the way. We already know it's 10 units high. That doesn't have to do anything with that. Okay, this goes over there, 10. Okay, so we need to figure out the circumference and then cut it in half because okay, it's a semicircle, right? So the circumference of any circle on Earth is still going to be, you know, pi times the, uh, a diameter. But it's only a half a uh, circle, so it's going to be pi times the radius, okay? So we can just go 3.14 times 3, which is 9.42, all right? And that's going to be the lateral surface area. Uh, times 10 will be 94.2. I should have said that, 94.2. And there we go. Add all that stuff up together, and then there you got it, okay? Another way of figuring this out, by the way, is you notice every single time we multiply by 10, right? Okay. So all we need to do is go, we can go, I got a six here from here to here. 
I got an eight from here. I got another eight from there. And I got a what, 9.42? We can clump that all together. And what do we multiply that by to find out how, how far it is all around? 10, right? Because that's how, that's how tall the thing is, times 10. You can do it that way if you want to. All right, okay. Let's go on page 277 and try the practice problems. Okay, and they're asking you on page uh, 277 to find the lateral surface area on this right solid. So we're not, we're not actually, actually asking you to find the, um, what is it, 100? No, is, how tall is that thing? 40 meters tall. So this thing is tall. Okay, here we go. So what's the lateral surface area? We're just going to find the perimeter of the whole thing. And instead of going, oh, I'm going to go 4 times 40 and write it. I'm going to go 3 times 40 and write it. I'm going to go 3 times 40. I'm just going to find all of it all together then add, and then multiply the whole thing by 40. So 4 plus 4 plus 4 is 12. Plus 6 is 18. So 18 times 40, you would have said 720. Boom. There you go. Okay. All right, we'll do more of those today. Go to it. Have a good time. Mix in your geometry and see you all next time.